I'll make a trade with you. My screw... My magic wand for one of your prizes, and then I'll leave your game alone. What's the catch? No catch. You get a screw... Magic wand, and I get one of your... exotic prizes. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Which prize would you like? The talking bird. <laughs> that scraggly heap of... A fantastic choice, young lady! Hold on a second and I'll get him for you. A fantastic choice, and I really, really mean that. You're a bird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Did the old man send you to get me? I guess he did. My name's April. Oh, God. Is there no escape? I mean, not that I like being cooped up in a cage for gamblers to gawk at and children to spit at all day, but give me a break. It's better than being locked away in a stinking chest. Thanks a whole bunch for rescuing me, April. You're welcome. No, 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 hey, hey, that's not what I meant. I was being sarcastic. Do you know what sarcastic means? Speak all tongue? Yes, yes, hmm? No, actually, I don't. I speak English. English? English? I don't know where you're from, lady, but you're weird. Okay, so let me go already, all right? Enough with the I'm human so I can boss the bird around shtick. We're all impressed. Sorry, I promised the old man I'd win you back. I need a favor from him badly. Yeah? So what's so important you'd sacrifice a bird's happiness and well-being? The fate of two worlds, billions of people, and the balance. Yeah? Yeah? So... No, forget it. So were you always just bird? Or did you have a better name? No. It's always been bird. My full name is that damn bird. I learned that when I was two weeks old. That damn bird, the old man would say. No good ball of feathers. Then he beat me with a stick. Really? Uh, no. He just stick me in the chest and forget about me. Which is almost as bad as beating, believe you me. I'm sorry to hear that, bird. You know, if you were my bird, I think I'd call you Crow. Yeah, well, I'm my own bird, lady, and I don't... Crow. You'd call me Crow? That's a pretty good name. It's a proper name, at least, not just an insult. Anyway, I guess I'd better get you back to your master bird. He's pining for you. All he's pining for is coin to gamble with. It's really none of my business. Sorry. <laughs> sure you are. Here's your bird, bird, sir. It wasn't easy, but I got him back. I sure hope you're grateful. Bird, blessed be the balance, me faithful friend and companion be back. No, 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 not back in the chest, not in the chest! How can you help me get passage on a ship? Aye, I, I be a man of me word. Speak ye with Captain Horatio Nebevay of the White Dragon, the ship behind yous. Tell him Umbrianos be sending yous to cash in on that old favor he be owing me. Thanks, old man. Aye. -er.
Hello. Uh huh. You know old Umbrianos, don't you? The old drunk? Aye, he'd be a good captain once. But ever since he lost his ship, he hasn't been much worth to anyone. Be that as it may, you do owe him a favor, right? Aye, that I do. He saved my life more than once. And I wouldn't be captain of this beautiful lady if it weren't for him. Guess what? I'm here to cash in on that favor. I'll be damned. What did you do for the old geezer? Promise him your hand in marriage? Don't you mind that, old boy. Just get ready to sail south. You're giving me a lift to the island of Elias. I mean, since you're already heading for Gien. I am? That could prove a little tricky. How come? For one, there is no wind. That accursed alchemist up north has put some kind of spell on the wind. Clax, I believe his name is. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere beyond Riverwood. As long as he's got his dirty claws on the wind, this vessel ain't going nowhere. Then there's a little problem with my crew. I can't very well leave the harbor without a navigator, and my last one decided he didn't much care for the sea anymore and went off to marry a serving maid. But, okay, let's say I manage to free the wind and find you a new navigator. Then will you drop me off on Elias? <laughs> You think you will be able to defeat Clax, free the wind, and find me a new navigator? By Jal's pus filled left eye, if you do such a trick, then I. I'll take you wherever you wish to go. Most likely they'll be holding your funeral within the week, girl. <laughs> Just leave the madman be and let the army deal with him. Never you mind, as long as you keep your promise and take me to Elias. What's with Elias, anyhow? It's been deserted for hundreds of years, ever since the Dolmari fell victim to the Great Plague. I need to visit the Elation people, to listen to some of their stories. As if there aren't enough stories here. <laughs> it takes all sorts, that be for sure. Do you always travel like you got a two-headed Basparian nymphate on your tail? I couldn't keep up half the time. Crow, is that you? Of course, there was that pair of stunning Robin Redbreasts. Twins, did you know? Not as if I could just leave them without a kiss or two. Or twelve, as it turned out. Eh... <sighs> Maybe I'm just out of shape after being stuck in boxes and cages and knapsacks for the past 20 years. I guess it is you. Of course it's me! How many birds do you know with both good looks and a sense of humor? You got a sense of humor? No, oh, funny. Nah, <laughs> that's funny. What are you doing here, Crow? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? 
How about a nice to see you, crow? Or I've missed you so much, crow. Or at least a glad to see you out of that chest, crow. It is nice to see you, crow. How did you escape? Cunning, milady. Of course, that keg of Andrigan stone liquor the old geezer got his hands on didn't hurt. I've never seen such a shameful display of public drunkenness in my life. Well, not since the last time I had a thimble full of wine. Yeah, <laughs> boy, were those ladies in for a surprise. When they were told I could talk, I'm sure they didn't count on my encyclopedic knowledge of Dolmari obscenities. The old man was gonna gamble me away again, you know. Went straight back to the cup handler after the, um, uh, celebration. So, I decided to split before they put me back in a cage. That place was like a prison without the amenities. And let's not even mention the food. Did you ever try roasted El Guan Dung? Ugh, pooey, da, don't, ever. So, I pecked a button here and some soft tissue there and fled. I had nowhere else to fly, so I decided to join you on your, uh, quest. It sounded like a spot of good old-fashioned fun. Like a bird's own adventure. It's not as if I came after you because I like you, though. You don't have any feathers. Thank God for that. Okay, if you want to join me, I wouldn't mind some company. I'm guessing you'll be using your wings, though, and not your feet? The ground's no place for a free spirit like myself, baby. Besides... I hear there are a lot of good-looking birds in this forest, and let me tell you, they don't parade about on the ground like winged chickens. Just try to slow down once in a while. Let me catch up. Sure. But how do I get your attention if I need to talk to you? Can you whistle? Like this? <laughs> Sorry. But wait a second. I got a little flute. I could use it to call you. I'm not a sheepdog. Let's get that straight. You play your tune. And I'll consider your request. I won't be flapping to attention like a tame soldier, Hawk. Deal. We better get moving, though. It's getting late. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll try to keep an eye out ahead in case there's... trouble. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Please, human, don't kill me and skin me. I haven't even sung to the soil yet. Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you or skin you. Oh my. That is good news. Very good indeed. Who are you? My name's April. What's yours? In my language, it's Bandu Umana Banta Aurubana Bitana Benort. It means the little one who tries hard to live up to his father who sings to the soil. That's a mouthful. So, um, what do I call you? You can call me Ben Bandu, the sad little one. Banda is the name of my people. We are the little ones. Why are you sad, Ben Bandu? I'm looking for my brother. He's been gone in the forest for many days, and I've not heard him sing to us. Our people don't walk about the forest much. It's too dangerous for us. You haven't seen my brother, have you? He's short, about my height, with a tan coat and a mischievous glint in his eye. You're the first mole. The first Banda I've met. Oh dear. I hope he's all right. A lot of our people have disappeared this summer. What happened to the Banda that disappeared? We don't really know. But there's something evil in this forest. Something that doesn't like the Banda. I shouldn't be out here looking, but I must find my brother. If I see him, I'll let him know you're looking for him. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Aren't your people called the Mole People? That's what the city dwellers and farmers call us. They say it with sharp tongue. Moles. Dirt diggers. They don't like us very much. 
Our given name is Banda, the little ones. Or the Banda Banta, the little ones who sing to the soil. How do you sing to the soil? When we're old enough, and we found our voices, we just sing, and the earth shapes itself to our needs. We live in harmony with the earth, just like the birds do with the air. Good luck on your search, Ben Bandu. Sad little one. And the best of luck to you, April. Please, if you see my brother, tell him to come home. We're all so very worried. Hey, Crow, would you mind doing me a favor? I was having this tete-a-tete -tete with a pretty young sparrow, but hey, Crow at your service. Did you say favor? Oh, sure thing, unless it's something extremely... Uh, no, no, make that even remotely dangerous. I don't like dangerous. Not at all. Just scout out the forest from your vantage point. See if you can find Ben Bandu's brother. Ben who? The mole I just met. I thought you were supposed to be watching me. Didn't you pay attention? No. Uh, mole, you said. They're savages, a lot of them. You eat birds, even. Crow, I eat birds. You probably do, too. Hmm, yeah, I love a roasted duckling in a tangy orange. Oh, uh, well, yeah, 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 I see your point. Looking for a lost mole, then, are we? Yeah, and they're called the Banda. I never got into that whole PC thing. It's not Tyrox, it's the tyrant. Don't say chicks say birds. Don't say birds say women. I don't know. It's all a little too complicated for a simple man of the air like myself. Just go look for the lost mo- the lost Bandu, okay? Yes, ma'am. The bridge is out! Damn! The bridge has been completely destroyed. The edges are charred. Whatever caused this, it couldn't have been flood water or simple wear and tear. I'll have to find some other way across. This gorge is too deep to cross and the river too fierce. <laughs> 